Welcome to the stage, Nigel Farage. Remember, this Labour Party promised during the referendum, after the referendum, and in their election manifesto of 2017, they promised they would abide by the result of the referendum, they would respect the result of the referendum, and they would implement the result of the referendum. And now they have completely turned their backs on five million Labour voters who voted to leave, because now the Labour Party's policy now Anyone here know what the Labour Party's policy <laughs> is? <laughs> Labour's, Corbyn's position is this. They will give us a second referendum because the first time we got it wrong. Because, and my goodness me, when I hear this, it makes me mad. Perhaps it does you. They tell us we didn't know what we were voting for. How dare they patronise us and talk down to us like that as if we're a bunch of cretins. We knew what we voted for. We voted to become an independent, self-governing, proud nation that determines its own future. This deal does not get Brexit done. It, the agony will go on for year after year. And the demands and the terms of that deal, of that trade deal, are that we continue the surrender of our fisheries, that we align in regulation on everything from employment policy to social policy to environmental policy and even taxation. So literally, he's trying to present us with we will have left when everything from financial services to fisheries will be regulated and in line with what's passed in Europe not what is passed in our Parliament. I'm sorry, Mr Johnson, that is not Brexit. And I am not prepared, after 25 years of fighting for us to be free, to stand aside and see this sold down the river. I won't do it. It's as simple as that. Boris got rid of the backstop, which meant that Great Britain is not committed to being in the customs union. But the price of that, sir, was to put a border out there in the Irish Sea to divide up the United Kingdom, which will lead to consequences with Scotland and agony and argument for years to come. Because it's there, the menu's there. You can vote for the Liberal Democrats. Well, no, you can vote for the Liberal Democrats. I'm not saying you should vote for them, but you can vote Lib Dem to just cancel the whole thing. You can vote Labour to have a second referendum with a choice of Remain v Remain. You can vote for Boris, which says, don't you trust Boris up here? Gosh, that think tank got it all wrong, didn't they? You can vote for Boris's party, which is Brexit in name only, half in and half out, or you can vote for us. And we say, we've had enough of all this, extension after extension, on the 31st of January, we should leave with a clean break Brexit, and I'll make sure that choice is on every ballot paper.